Hi, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we are going to be introducing the Focus 35 Robotic Total Station by Spectra Precision. We will also have an unboxing video and a technical sales presentation by Joe Binder, the sales manager of Western North America for Spectra Precision products. The Focus 35 is a new robotic total station by Spectra Precision. It is a tough, affordable total station that can be used in a wide variety of situations. It is available in one, two, three, or five second accuracies. It comes with Survey Pro on board on its three and a half inch touchscreen. The Focus 35 can also be ran with a data collector running Survey Pro, Fast Survey, and Layout Pro, making it suitable for any job and an easy addition to your current equipment lineup. The Focus 35 uses some of the newest technology when it comes to robotic total stations. It uses step drive technology, which controls the horizontal and vertical movement. This allows the Focus 35 to move quickly and precisely when making measurements. This also means that it can repeat angle measurements effectively. The Focus 35 also uses lock and go technology. This uses the tracking sensor on board to follow the prism at all times, saving time on having to re-aim the instrument. If you do lose lock on the prism, the Focus 35 supports GeoLock technology when using Survey Pro. This is a GPS-assisted prism search that can be controlled remotely, saving time and increasing efficiency. The Focus 35 can work over a long range as well, up to 1,000 meters in reflectorless mode and up to 7,000 meters using three prisms. We will now show an unboxing video so you know what you are getting with your purchase. This is the case that your Focus 35 total station will come in. It's a hard plastic case. On the back of it here, there are some latches to connect some backpack straps. The case is held down by two metal latches in the front. The Focus 35 total station will come with two batteries. And these batteries are going to be the same batteries that are found in Trimble Robotic Total Stations. They are intelligent batteries, which means that by pressing the power button on the top of them, you'll be able to tell the level of charge that the battery has. Comes with the two backpack straps that attach to the back. This is the Focus 35 itself. You can see the screen on that face. The battery will go on the side there has the three different dials and the radio antenna on top. It will come with a rain cover. On the side of the case here will be some general safety information, a quick start guide, and a user guide on a CD. It will also come with some additional screen protectors for your display. Up in the top of the case here is a shield for your lens also tucked in the top there is a cable that will connect your computer to the total station itself and that is the focus 35 total station and its contents Hi, I'm Joe Binder with Trimble Navigation, and I'm going to go through the hardware of the Focus 35 robot by Spectre Precision. Standard tri brack on the robot. The base of the unit, on the other side, you have a little height hook. This will allow you to take your tape measure, measure to the point under the tripod, and it will eliminate the bend of the, the uh, tape measure to give you a more accurate elevation. The battery is a six hour hot swappable battery. You can see how much battery life you have on each one. It's got a little gauge. You've got 30 seconds to change that battery. As far as the horizontal vertical tangents, they're here on the side of the instrument as well as the focus for the telescope. Those motors, it's a step drive motor, and they work in the, the uh, you're able to hear that there, the coarse motor and the fine motor coming in. That clicking sound is actually a clamp that is a physical brake on the flywheel. And it operates much like a two-speed tangent would. 
As far as the second face, many things are done through here to actually set the instrument up. We'll go through all of that in a training video at a later time. 2.4 gigahertz radio, just like your cordless phone at home. There's no radio licensing required for it. And this unit also has Survey Pro built into the instrument. The Focus 35 motor is a step drive motor. What we're utilizing is a coarse motor as well as a fine motor, which allows for a very efficient power usage. But more importantly, it gives us very stable pointing. You'll notice where the mouse is right now, this physical tangent arm. What that gives us is a very stable pointing on the prism because it's going to hold the total station still on a fixed target. You've got the flywheel here. You'll hear a clamp. That's actually a brake on that flywheel. So unlike a servo motor where it's constantly in flux, we actually have a physical lock with a tangent arm giving us a very stable uh, measurement on the prism and you won't receive any chatter. The way that we track the prism, it's nothing special with the prism. You can utilize any prism. We provide a 360 degree prism for you for simplicity and ease of use, but it utilizes a laser beam as well as a camera. And we have a separate processor in the instrument itself that will take 109 measurements per second. You can see by the image below that the actual camera that it's utilizing is larger than the field of view of the telescope itself. So we have a very good reading on the prism, even at close ranges. The idea behind the technology is that the instrument will send out a laser beam. It paints the field of view, and what the camera sees is essentially a negative image. The white dot you see in the middle of the image here is a prism. If we zoom in on that, you'll see the same prism here. The system is smart enough to notice one option one object over another so you'll see in this picture that the upper right prism has the crosshair that is the one it's following it's just like you if you were to be looking at a person you're able to follow that person even though there may be other people in the background <clears throat> on the prism itself being that we're utilizing the pixels of the camera the crosshair may not be at the very center of that prism and that's okay. This allows us to mathematically calculate where we are on the prism to get to the center of the prism, and it will allow for faster and actually more accurate measurements. In summary, the Focus 35 is a powerful total station solution that can be purchased in a way that suits your style of work. It uses a combination of advanced technology that includes step drive, lock and go, and geolock technology. All of these combine to make the Focus 35 the powerful, complete solution you are looking for. It is easy to use, tough, and affordable. In summary, we went over an introduction, showed the unboxing, had a technical presentation, and a summary for the Focus 35. That concludes our Tech Talk on the introduction to the Focus 35 Total Station. I hope you found this beneficial and will join us in the future for more Tech Talks. Contact any of our salesmen here at Frontier Precision to set up a demo or to ask any other questions you may have. Thank you.